Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the Topo Jiren relationship in terms of Dokkan Battle. Um, so before we start, I want to say, if you have dupes of Topo, do not do dupe system just yet and hear me out with this video. I, I may, I should have probably done this when it first came out on the JP side, but because the uh, Vegeta Blue Evolution is coming right around the corner, I wanted to at least do a small short video about the topic of Jiren and Topo, how they link... Uh, Topo's passive skill and uh, how we should be trying to go about using him for the most optimization. Um, now, before we jump into that real quick, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. Uh, please help show your support of the channel. I would really appreciate it. All right, cool. Let's jump into it. Warrior Freedom Topo. Now, Topo the card itself, he's not that bad. He is a support unit. He is a super class ally support unit. He also decreases the enemy's defense by 50%. Now, his leader ability is a super leader for a key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 30%. He does supreme damage and raises super class allies attack by 25% for one turn. Uh, passive skill, super class allies attack and defense plus 30%. Extreme enemies, yeah, defense minus 50%. Now, he does have some decent link skills, supreme warrior, signature, pose, toughest nails, hero, just a shocking speed, tournament of power. Now, um, we're not going to talk about the, anything else really about him because we're not really worried about the damage output. He is a support unit. He is there to support other people in the field. And technically, if you're going to worry about a super attack, you kind of want him to be in the first slot. So that way, when a super attack goes off, he will help increase the actual damage output of other units. Typically, you wouldn't want to do that with most with most other units, but because of his passive skill, attacking defense plus 30%, it's a little bit more viable to keep him on primary rotation. You have to think of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku when it comes to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. They are perfect links for each other. He's also part of the Universe Survival Saga category team, which makes him perfect for uh, Jiren, which they do link very well together. Now, he's going to Doken Awaken with the Vegeta medals from the uh, Vegeta Blue event, the Vegeta Blue Evolution event. Uh, so you're going to go in here once, once it becomes available, which hopefully it's very soon. I do want this uh, Vegeta Blue. Um, I, you know, I always wonder too, Vegeta Blue, is Vegeta Blue Evolution really Vegeta Blue Evolution or is it Super Saiyan 2 level of Super Saiyan Blue? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't mean to start a war, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, you go over there and you go and get the medals. It's not going to be from the first round. It's going to be from the second round over here. Level 2, Fight Inspired by Pride, in order to Doken Awaken him as you see five medals over there. When he Doken Awakens, now look, it is, he goes from Topo to Topo, in parentheses, God of Destruction. I know a lot of you have probably already figured this out. Uh, he can be run on the same team with its undoken form. Now, with that being said, Leader ability does change all types, key plus 2, HP attack, and defense plus 70%, which is good if you guys are brand new to the game and you don't have anyone else to link with him. He's going to be very, very good for you to use um, on a team as a leader, uh, especially for the older events. He will help you out on the, some of the 120 events. He will help you out on all the 70% leads and all of the OG leads and even the 100% leaders. If you're trying to get any of those guys Doken Winkin, he's a perfect leader for you for there. Uh, his super attack, destruction ball, supreme damage enemy, and races allies attack, by 25% for one turn, so that's an increase, or actually it's the same thing. Um, so, except it's only, and now it's all allies instead of just super allies. His passive skill is no longer just for super. Strength of confidence, attack and defense, plus 35% for all allies. He did get a little bit of a buff, a 5% buff to attack and defense there, and all enemies defense minus 50%. So what does that mean? That means between the two of them, the enemy's defense is cut down to zero because it's 100% the buff. Uh, unless there's something special going on where it's like, oh, it's going to take into consideration this one first, so it's going to knock it down by 50% and then do another 50% after that, which would mean a 75% debuff. But either way, that's a ridiculous debuff. I'm going to stick with the, oh, it's going to go down 100%. Running the two of these uh, against, like, uh, let's say the OG Broly event is going to benefit you so much. Link skills are Tournament of Power, Supreme Power, Rival Duo, Tough of his, but, yeah, Tough as Nails, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, and Fierce Battle. Now he gets Godly Power and Fierce Battle, which is definitely very significant. He also can now be run on the Realm of Gods team. Now when we're talking about Realm of Gods team, uh, the other Topo is not on that category, so he won't be... You could run him on that team if you want to, but he's not going to get any buffs. Um, outside of that, um, this is what I'm going to say. If you get two Topo and you plan on running a Universe Survival Saga team that is going to be the uh, Jiren leader, who's the Universe Survival Saga leader. Now, this is his Dokkan form. Um, you're going to want to make sure that um, you keep both of them, and then this is why. All right, going over here to Jiren, he is Universe Survival Saga leader. He's Category Key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 150%. He's 150% leader. Um, the reason why I said you're not, you may not want to run the other Topos is he doesn't really get the major buffs of 150%, but because he's a strength type, he does get HP, attack, and defense plus 50%, so you can run him on team. The other thing is, if you're running this Topo alongside Jiren, who are the who are very good, very, very good linking buddies, this is going to be your primary rotation. 
this Topo, if you plan to run him on either team, he is not going to be on primary rotation. He's going to be off rotation, and he's going to be run on the, on the actual Universe Survival Saga team off of primary rotation. Uh, Jiren's passive attack and defense was 130% medium chance to stun, and he gets a guaranteed critical hit against the stunned enemy, so that bypasses defense and stuff. But if he doesn't get the stun, if they're not stunned at all, and his crit doesn't go off, having that, if both of the, uh, both Tobos are on the field, having no defense is going to make him hit so much harder. Uh, now, if you take a look at his link skills also, Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, Infighter, Hero Justice, Tournament of Power, Godly Power, and Fierce Battle. Now, he does share some key links here, right? But let's take a look at this. In terms of his attack boss, other than Infighter, he has Hero Justice, he has a Godly Power, and Fierce Battle. So he hits off three of his biggest, largest links. Infighter is a 10% link, but unfortunately doesn't have it. So think of that, though. He has three of his biggest links. That's a 30% and a 25%. That's a 55%. Plus, the other Toko's attack passive of 35% and another passive of 30%. So that's 65%, 65, 70, 80, 95, 95, 120% attack increase. Not including his own passive of 130%. It's insane. So I just wanted to make sure I told, let, let you guys know about this. Do not go and feed in dupe system of topo until you keep one for his uh, god of destruction form and then one for his non-god of destruction form keep both of them and then at that point i would say probably bottom right of this one bottom right of this one then top left of this one then top left of this one so like you'll keep one of each obviously you're gonna want the first if you only have one get him to the god of destruction he's a lot more viable there but then keep the second one for just the regular topo and then focus on the topo god of destruction i know some people have said that they would prefer if they're gonna keep one to the side then they're gonna get their topo God of Destruction, bottom right, top left, and then focus on their other Topo. Uh, he is not a Doken Fest exclusive, so you don't have to worry about summoning him on him on the specific banner. Also, keep in mind that because he's not a Doken Fest exclusive, you can get him on any banner, as long as he's part of the pool, which he typically is. Um, and the banner is going to be coming up, so those of you are probably going to pull multiple of him. I do have two myself, so and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm holding off on putting any dupe system into him because of that. I'm also going to increase the super attack of Topo. Right now, he does not have any way to increase his super attack. Uh, by the way, real quick, um, Jiren does, will be able to increase his super attack. If those of you who don't know, if you're just starting out and you're just wondering, Jiren will have its own thing from his own event right now. It's only on the Jiren, uh, on the JP side of things, on the Jiren side, on the JP side of things. So wait, do not use Elder Kai's on your Jiren if you pull him. Uh, he When he gets his Doken Awakening, before you Doken Awaken him, he will have his own event. And his event for his Doken Awakening is going to allow you to increase his super attack. Uh, now going over here, I just want to show you, he does share four link skills. The God of Destruction shares uh, five key and 30% attack buff. And the other one shares two, the uh, five key and 25% uh, attack buff. That Hero of Justice is not shared with the God of Destruction power. So he's going to be having that separately. And when Jiren's in the middle, he's going to literally get a super attack off all the time just because of the 5 and 5 key without any key from the leader ability taken over, taking into consideration, he's getting 10 key, and you only need 12 key for a super attack. So Jiren, when both of them are on the field, is going to be hitting ridiculously, ridiculously hard. Um, I did want to make a short video about this. That's the whole point of this video. I really hope that was helpful and informative to you guys. Make sure you save both Topos. If you have two Topos, do not increase the super attack level. Very awesome unit, very, very viable, especially if you plan on running a Universe Survival Saga team. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I'll catch you all later. Peace.